Now we're going to talk about data transfer instructions. These are instructions that allow us to move data between the memory and the register file. So in order to do that, we're going to have to add some more stuff to our processor. So the ALU is going to generate our address, but we need a place to put that address so we can get it to the memory. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a memory address register. And so this is a place where that address can go so that we can get ready to send it off to the memory. We also need a place to store results that are coming to or from the memory, and that's going to be a data register. So this is where the data is going to go back and forth. So if I'm using that address to access memory, I can put the data I got into that register. Now, once you've got the data in there, then you can go ahead and write it back into the register file. So we've added two things. We've added a memory address register and a data register. Now let's take a look at an example of doing a load word. So here's our program. We're going to do an add i r5 r0 12. This is going to add 12 and 0 and store it into r5. And then we're going to load word. We're going to load the address, the data at memory address in r5, which will be 12, into register r6. So let's take a look at this program. So we start out with instruction 0. We move it into our instruction register. And our control tells our ALU to do an add. It's an add instruction and the register file what data to use. Now this is an add immediate instruction, so we're going to get some of the data from R0 here, but we also need some data from this 12. So we're going to take some of the data from 0 and some of the data directly from the instruction. So that 12 is in the instruction and we're going to send that 12 right down to the ALU. We add those together and we write back into R5 and write in a 12. Now we go on to the next instruction, which is instruction 4. This is now our load word instruction. So we go ahead and load instruction. The control is going to tell the ALU, just pass the address through for now. And which address is it going to be? Well, it's going to be the address at register 5. So we're going to pass the 12 through into the memory address register. And then we're going to go to the memory, and we're going to tell the memory to read the data at address 12. So when we read that data, it's going to take it back and put it into the data register. And then we can go ahead and write that back into the register file. So now we've loaded the, at, loaded the data that was at address 12 from the memory into the register file. So the important thing to note here is that we use the address from the register file. So we had to have this address 12 in the register file so that we could know where we wanted to access in the data. Now we can also put offsets on memory instructions. So for example, load word R6 for R5. This says load it at 4 bytes off from R5. So we can go ahead and put this in here. Now our instruction looks like this. And this is going to be 4 bytes off of R5. So how is that instruction executed? Well, let's take a look. So here's our instruction in the instruction register. This is a load with an offset. Now our control is going to tell the ALU to do an add. And what's it going to add? Well, it's going to add the value in R5 and this 4 from the instruction. So we take the value in R5 and we take the 4 from the instruction. And we're going to get 16. Now we're going to do the load. We're going to go and access the memory at location 16, and we're going to load it into our data register, and then finally write it back into our register file. So at this point, you should notice a similarity between the load word instruction with the constant offset and the add i instruction with the constant offset. And indeed, we'll talk about that similarity in the next lecture when we talk about instruction encodings. So let's take a look at an example of storing something. So to store stuff, we need to know the address from the ALU, where in the memory we're going to put it, and the data that we're going to store in there, which we're going to get out of a register. So let's run through this program. So we're on instruction 4, which is store word. So we're going to take that. The ALU is going to do the same thing it did for load word. It's going to pass through. And what's it going to pass through? Well, the register that tells us where it is stored. In this case, R5. We'll use that as the address. And then we take the data out of the register file, which is the data that we're going to store in this case register 6. Put that in the data register and then we write to the memory and we're going to put that data into location 12 in the memory. And that's how a store works. So a question about accessing memory. Why do we need both a memory address register and a data register to access the memory? Well the reason for this is we need to know both the address, that is where in the data memory do we look, and what data are we reading or writing from it. So we need two pieces of information when we go to access the memory. You can see this in the store word instruction where we need to have the memory address 
and the data in order to go and do the store. Here's another question. Where does the offset come from when we have an offset load? Well, in this case, the offset comes from inside the instruction. This is an immediate instruction because it has this immediate value inside the instruction. And when we processed it, we saw that we were doing an add in the ALU, and the control told the register file where to get the data from. Part of it came from register 5, and part of it came from right here in the instruction, that value 4. And we used that to calculate the memory address for the operation. 